Eee, bah, chuff. It's a tad windy and chilly out here. But we're all ready for Christmas. I've decided to uh, pop down to a local village. You see? Lovely. That's better. That's better. Feels like I'm holding it at a funny angle, but hey, you know. <laughs> decided to pop down to a local village. Wanted to photograph this church here for a while, but there's been a lot of building work going on around here. Strengthening all the riverbanks and stuff after we got flooded sort of a few years back. And uh, yeah, all the heavy machinery is gone now, so I can finally get to where I, where I wanted to be. Fortunately, they've put a concrete path in, so I might go see where this leads first and then that church there will be some photographs. Right, getting my first shot. Sun's come out, great. I'm gonna see if I can capture the curve in the river, maybe some of the sort of atmosphere around here, but I think it's gonna be too bleached out by the sun just after I get it all set up. The sun comes out. Yay! Oh well, it goes. <laughs> right. I was just looking in the opposite direction. I might be able to get one with the river and the, the old bridge. So, we'll see. At least someone will be directly at me this time. Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah. And it's just not Christmassy at all. It could be a typical autumn day or something, but we work with what we got. So yeah. Right, what I'm going for in this is the bridge really at the end. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on this image green thing sort of for a bit and I'm going to the church. But we've been on an exposed freezing cold riverbank. <sighs> At least it's not raining. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Fun! <laughs> Just before I get back to the car, I might try that one. It's a lovely little church. Didn't realise it was made out of brick. Amazing, fascinating place. I was gonna some closer as well, but let's see what we can do from up here. Right, this is now definitely back to the car because I'm starting to get really cold out here. Remember my hat? I forgot my gloves. Silly me. One roll. Check your camera gear before you go out. Check your personal gear as well. That's all well and good. Gloves, oh you need them. You really need them. Scarf, anyway, gloves, need them. Right, tripod, camera and bag are back in the car. Just walking down this very narrow footpath. Seeing if I can find the entrance gate to this place. I really should have planned this more, I think. Anyway. Part of the fun though, isn't it? Discovering stuff. Yeah. Ah, this looks promising. Right. Here it goes. Oh, look at this place. Stunning. Sort of Hammer House of Horrors type thing. You know, it's beautiful. There is 
I don't think I've noticed walking around here. Maybe a small church, but it's still quite an imposing structure. Never really done a lot of architectural photography, but this one I'm looking forward to. I'm going to see if I can get some of the gravestones as well. These are fantastic old sculpted gravestones, they're just phenomenal. Just hope I do it justice. Right, one shot I'm going to try. It's like that sort of angle, but I think these are going to be black and white, maybe. Just try to add a bit of contrast or artistic look to them. Don't know, we'll see once I get one on the laptop, get them edited. See how we go. I'm getting that much warmer down here, but just making sure I don't trample anything I shouldn't. It saddens me really that walking around I've noticed that all the stained glass windows are, have wire mesh over them. Yeah, such such beautiful church and beautiful windows and they run the risk of being vandalised. It's totally wrong. Totally wrong. But let's see if I can get this behind me. Oh, I'm not used to doing all this handheld stuff. I'm used to using a tripod. It's quite quite an interesting sort of uh, challenge. Just hope I'm shaking too much with the cold. But we'll get there. Let's see if I can get a nice shot of this doorway. Amazing. Whew. Right, I've been wandering around trying to get a few of the gravestones in the church. And the... It's very overgrown down here. <laughs> Lots of twigs, trees. There, trees. And uh, no real path, but I'll get something. Mm. I suppose the car and off in search of coffee and editing facilities. Yes, it will possibly be my last vlog before Christmas slash New Year. I've been doing it for 12 months now, near up to the day, and uh, I've enjoyed it. Wish I could directly home after here. We'll see. Oh, right. Back in the car now. Eating on, eating turned up, getting warm, getting some feeling back in my feet. It's not bitterly cold, but it just sort of eats into you. Whew. I'm hoping I've beaten the rain because there's a big, massive, great black cloud heading this way. But, uh, thank you all for your support this year. It, it's, you know, phenomenal. People out there want to watch my videos. It's strange. It, it just amazes me. But thank you. It, it does mean so much the fact that there are. I have what 15 followers now and you know it's phenomenal I did my first vlog New Year's Eve last year and I've done 12 since then I think I had a couple of months where I didn't do anything and then you know, things get in the way life work everything health one of the big ones health but yeah you know thank you Thank you for everything. Thank you for the, the, the views, the comments, the advice. No criticism yet. That's a good thing or not, but anyway. 
I hope my personality comes out a little bit in some of these vlogs as well. You know, I'm a fun guy. I try to be anyway. But uh, yeah, have a great Christmas, everyone. Stay safe, and I will be seeing you all next year. Thank you. Have fun. Bye.